First we moisten our paper with a little bit of water before we add our paint. In this case I'm going to draw a nice dark night sky from a dark purple to dark blue and lighter blue on the bottom of my page. For the grass I will be using this round paintbrush size 9. Make sure that you only use the tip of your brush to paint these grass strokes. I'm filling the whole bottom part of my page with these dark green grass blades. Then I add some yellow on top and at the very end a few blue blades on the very bottom. Once our paint is all dried, we're going to pick up our white charcoal pencil and sketch out our mason glass jar. Next, I'm going to add some highlights, some light reflections to make this jar look like it's transparent. I'm using my number four round brush and I only use the very tip to outline my white lines with white acrylic paint. Make sure the paint is not very thick. You want to water it down to make it look transparent. So this is too thick. You should be able to see whatever is underneath, see through the white paint. Now I'm tracing my white lines with the tip of my paintbrush and very watered down acrylic paint. The next part is going to be real fun. We're going to use Q-tips to start our fireflies. We're adding a bunch of white little dots all over the place. You get to decide where your fireflies are going to or flying towards. Once the white is all dried up, I'm adding yellow on top of the white for the glow. One more time, grab a fresh Q-tip and dunk it into white. And now just dab it into the center of your yellow glow. Next we're going to paint, we will water down our yellow, pick it up with the tip of our paintbrush number four and create sort of a halo around our fireflies. Notice how watered down the yellow is, you do not want any opaque color, it's supposed to be very transparent. I notice that the inside of my glass jar is too bright, so I'm choosing a dark blue with quite a bit of water. 
and I'm painting just the inside of my jar a little bit with that dark blue. To bring in a little bit more depth, I am adding some really dark blue grass blades in the very front. Next, I'm picking up my Q-tip, dab it in white and I will add some more fireflies inside my jar. deciding to add a little bit stronger reflection, light reflection into my glass jar and make it a little less transparent, fill in some of the white areas a bit more with paint. Now that my blue grass blades all dried, I am adding some highlights in there, some very thin grass blades with yellow, green, white lines. We are ready for our final part of this art piece. I'm using my white gel pen to work out the lettering on my glass jar and also to emphasize some highlights on my glass. sign your art piece. Thank you for watching this tutorial.